वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू माय चैनल माय सेल्फ पूर्णिमा गुप्ता टुडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट एलिजाबेथन पोइट्री एलिजा पोइथन पोइट्री इंडिकेट्स द पोइट्री रिटर्न ड्यूरिंग द रेन ऑफ क्वीन एलिजाबेथ द रेन ऑफ क्वीन एलिजाबेथ वाज वेरी मच रिमार्केबल फ्रॉम मेनी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू it was an era of peace and prosperity there were hardly any war and the spirit of romance and adventure was very much in the air the writers poets scientists all were active in doing experiments in doing inventions and creating new things attempting upon new forms of literature it was also a period of enlightenment the classical writers they were reread they were reinterpreted and their enlightenment was giving inspiration to the english writers so now the writers poets and other people they had an instinct of reasoning and questioning the traditional beliefs and norms so it was a period of enlightenment or renaissance the classical writers plato aristotle all of them were explored their knowledge their ideas were used spate of literary production the queen elizabeth gave proper impetus to all the creative artists and literary personages for literary production and that's why it was a period when all forms of literature like poetry drama essays were written in abundance she encouraged the literary activities and that's why it can also be called a, a golden era in the field of literature elizabethan poetry it was an age which was very much fertile for all sorts of literary production but it is also noticeable that the temper of the age was very much suited to the dramatic output you find that many dramatists was born and a lot of dramas were written and so we can say the spirit of this age was totally dramatic then the poetic spirit nevertheless the passion for poetry cannot be neglected it was absorbing and poetry was also produced not less than expectations but we can find that the poetry were written of diverse types on the basis of nature and form we can classify the poetry of elizabethan age into four types lyrical output narrative type of compositions dramatic and intellectual there were different writers and they had their different in uh, uh, their in different uh, views of poetry some of them wrote lyrics some of them wrote narrative and long poems some of them wrote dramatic poems some of them wrote intellectual poems first of all we talk about the lyrical poetry lyric is a short and personal emotional and musical composition we find that uh, there are so many types of lyric and all of them were attempted and written like ode ballad songs sonnets but the chiefest of this lyrical forms was sonnet sonnet was very much used and written in this period we find the two types of sonnets in this period petrarchan sonnet which was taken from italy and also the shakespearean sonnet form which was also called the english sonnet and there were the writers the lyrical 
poets like White and Surrey, Sidney, Spencer, Shakespeare, Daniel, all of them tried the lyrical form of poetry. White and Surrey, they were very much important who transplanted the form of sonnet into English soil. They took this form of sonnet from Petrarch and they wrote it, they moderated it according to the English spirit. Their sonnets were published in Tottel's Miscellany posthumously. They paved way for Shakespeare's sonnet. Philip Sidney and Samuel Daniel, they also tried this form, but their form was modeled upon Petrarch. Sidney's Astrologer and Stella that were published in 1591. It had 108 love poems and it was written in the Petrarchan sonnet form. Daniel's Dahlia written in 1592. It followed the English form of sonnet. Spencer's Amoretti written in 1595. It had sonnets, 88 sonnets, but they were written in the Petrarchan form. Shakespeare wrote about 154 sonnets and they were all written in the English form. So these lyrical poets produced sonnets either in Petrarchan form or in the English form. Now come to the next type of poetry that is long poetry, narrative and descriptive poetry. Apart from the lyrical strain, there were some poets like Spencer, Shakespeare. They took interest in writing long narrative poetry. These poems were long and they had the element of love and adventurous stories in them. Edmund Spencer wrote Shepherd's Calendar in 1579. Shakespeare wrote Venus and Adonis in 1593 and Lape of Lucre in 1594. Christopher Marlowe wrote Hero and Leander in 1598. Drayton wrote Endymion and Phoebe in 1595. All of these poems, they were narrative, long poems, exploring some adventurous stories. The third type of poetry, which was very much prominent during this Elizabethan age, was dramatic poetry. Dramatic poetry was a type of poetry written in the dramas. And the dramatist was Christopher Marlowe, Shakespeare, Beaumont, Fletcher, Webster, all of them wrote dramas. And they have used poetry in their dramas. Blank verse was the supreme form of such poetry. Shakespeare, Marlowe, they wrote their dramas in blank verse. And after Shakespeare, only Webster reached the heights of Shakespeare. This type of poetry, it was also adventurous and exuberant in the tune with the spirit of the age. William Shakespeare is the master artist of the dramatic poetry. He wrote a number of dramas, tragedies, comedies, tragic comedies and romances. And after him, Beaumont, Fletcher and Webster also wrote dramas. So they all of them used dramatic poetry and blank verse. The fourth type of poetry written during this age was intellectual poetry which was totally against the romantic exuberance of Sidney, Spencer and Shakespeare. This was a group of poets who retorted the romantic poetry of Elizabethans like Shakespeare, Spencer and Sidney. John Donne was the leader of this group of poets. This type of poetry was intellectual in strain. As the name indicates, John Donne wrote poetry which was fusion of both thought and feeling. This type of poetry was philosophical. It was using far-fetched images. It aimed at reality of thought and vividness of expression. John Donne, he wrote intellectual poetry 
which appeal to the mind not to the emotions of hearts it provoked thinking he was a great scholar and he used knowledge from different books and different streams of knowledge he wrote satirical and religious poetry also his famous love poems are songs and sonnets he also wrote satires although there were four streams of poetry written during the elizabethan age but all of them had some common features like the romantic spirit the poets attempted at something new they tried new themes new forms and experimented with the forms imagination most of the elizabethan poets who were romantic in nature they used their imagination to knit their plot their stories their poems experimentation was another key feature humanism all of them celebrated the dignity of human beings use of multiple genres it was a time when poetry was written in every type of form whether it is an epic or ballad lyric ode sonnets every form was uh, poetry was attempted lyrical strain but the most prominent strain was lyrical nationalism every poet was inspired by the spirit of nationalism so these were some salient features of the romantic and elizabethan poetry thanks for watching this video